What's up everybody, welcome back to episode 30 of my Escape from Tarkov solo playthrough series. Last time, we scavved at Shoreline twice, we almost nearly died, barely made it out alive, and then on our PMC run at, Sh at Shoreline, we got a shooter born in heaven kill right off the bat, which was awesome, but then we died like near the body by either the guy's friend or just some other dude. We just got really unlucky there, but um, that's fine. We will, we will take the shooter born and having to kill all day because doing that task on its own, like trying to focus on that is annoying. So I like, it is really good getting those kills as you just play the game naturally. So we got two in a row actually, two of our PMC runs on Shoreline, our last two there. We got two kills for that task. So we just need one more. If we can get knocked that out, that'd be awesome. But um, yeah, just to start it off, we're just going to go on our scav run on Shoreline like we always do, just to use it up. Really good place to uh, scav on, as we all know by now. So uh, yeah, we're just gonna do that. Right, so we are at the resort. Let's see, where are we exiting at? Lighthouse and Ruined Road. Alright, sounds good. Try to find a scav with a cowboy hat too. Gotta keep our eyes out for that.
should have hit up the cottages, but uh, too late now. Jeez. Nothing too crazy, nothing interesting, but um, just some money. That's pretty much it, just made some money. All right, so I just sold everything from that scav run, and now we're just gonna PMC run on Shoreline. Uh, things we need to do are, we need to mark, or not mark, place jammers at the signal sources, the three signal sources, and we have to go to the UAV crash sites, and then we have to kill six more scavs with this AK. And then, um, yeah, that's what we need to do. All right, we're at Shoreline on the beach. It's kind of probably the worst possible spawn we can ever get for this task, <laughs> for the task that we need to do. But whatever. Trying to think of where I should go first, I guess. Place the jammer at the resort. That sounded pretty scary. I have no idea if we're the first one here, if we're late, <laughs> I have no idea. I want to see if there's people already here. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Bullets down. Someone in there. I don't know if it's a scab like running around or what. This is what I wish they had to the game so you can like rest your gun like on a ledge. Yeah, there's a guy. Oh my god. Does he see us? Can't aim in for more than like two seconds though. That's shitty. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? I can go to the crash sites. First one's like over here somewhere, I think. Just gotta place two more jammers and then grab one more thing at the other crash site and then we're good.
for someone. Thought I heard someone. This one's sketchy to place. There could be people in this building. There could be people like coming up on you. Scabs. spot. Okay, maybe this isn't looted. It's not. UAV is like right next to this house.
All right, not bad. Got our tasks done. I'll take it. Let's meet three more scavs. All right, sounds good. All right, so this task is done. So now we have part four. Increase memory skill to four. All right, so we're just gonna naturally do that. Sounds good. And then we did this guy. Turn that in, turn that in, done. Accept, turn these in. Kill 10 scavs at shoreline wearing the UN uniform. Oh yeah, then we gotta mark cargo trucks. I'm trying to remember what trucks they are. Yeah, we'll figure that out later. All right, I believe that's all the tasks we did. Yeah, just need three more scav kills on shoreline with the AKM. And uh, yeah, that's it. So next, I think we'll, we'll accept our rewards. And then I think we will do a scav run. Yep, our scav is up, so we'll do another scav run. But um, before that, pretty sure we can do gunsmith part three. So let me check. All right, yeah, we can do it. We just have to get him to level two. So you just gotta spend like 3K, 2.1. All right, nice. So we're level two, unlocked a whole bunch of other stuff, and I believe we need this one. All right, yeah, so I built the gun. It's pretty easy. Yeah, we just needed Peacekeeper, level two, and then we could have done it, so really easy to do. Let's turn it in, complete it, and we should unlock a whole bunch of other tasks after this. Insider, reach loyalty level three with Prapper. Gunsmith part four, um, we'll worry about that later. Um, let's do our scav run on shoreline, see if we can make some money or find quest items. All right, so we're on shoreline at the Ruin Road exit. So we're gonna go all the way to the other side or lighthouse. We're gonna go to the village first though. That looks fancy.
guessing these are all looted. Yep. Got Jeez, that dead body scared the shit out of me. I try to leave that lighthouse. Cause it's closer. I think it's closer. Let's see shit. He was behind us, which I guess is possible. Alright, so I'm gonna end the episode there. I really appreciate the watching. This episode, we did some scav runs on Shoreline. Nothing too exciting happened. We didn't really find anything crazy. We died on our last one that you just saw. Then our PMC run on Shoreline went really well. We got our two tasks done that we needed to do. And now we just gotta kill scavs at Shoreline. And then I think that's it at Shoreline. I'm not sure. Doesn't really matter. We'll figure it out next time. Um, see you then. Thanks again. Peace out. Yo, thanks for watching. Be sure to check out the rest of the channel and the other playthrough episodes. I stream on Twitch, so check that out as well. Join the Discord. And if you want to see more videos similar to this one, be sure to subscribe. Also, leave a like. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave a comment in the comment section below. Thanks again. Peace.